Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So for this video, I am going to continue from a video that I made uh, recently wherein uh, we solved this problem of looking up data from a matrix of data. So for example, for the first one here, we wanted to find out what is the price okay, for this item, okay, Tokyo, and that would be found in this column. And then find as well for specifically for that item rubber duck in that case. And we want to produce okay, the number where this row and column intersects. So we have here in this scenario 104.6, which we derived okay, in the last video using index and match. And if you're after that solution, I get, uh, we have a video about that. I will put the link at the end of this video. But I also mentioned in that video that it is possible to solve this problem using XLOOKUP. So if you have the latest version of Excel, MS365, or if you're using Google Sheets, you can also solve this using XLOOKUP. Okay, so let's start. So for XLOOKUP, we're going to start it with of course equal sign and then x lookup then open parentheses and then we're going to first look up okay the one that we can search in the row area so that would be this item here cell b3 and then comma and then we're going to tell x lookup to look it up here in this specific range of cells Okay, so comma, and the next argument that we need would be the return array. So for the return array, in a regular XLOOKUP, we, sh we usually just identify another column of data where we want the values to be uh, returned to us. However, in this specific scenario, we have different possibilities. It could be under Tokyo, under Kyoto column, Osaka column, and so on. So highlighting this specific range of cells will simply not work because we have to consider the column aspects as well. So what will happen now is instead of using or highlighting a range of cells for the return array, we're going to bring in another XLOOKUP. So this XLOOKUP, is going to give us okay, the um, column aspect. So for this XLOOKUP, we're going to look up this cell A3, and then comma, and then we're going to look that up over here in this column area, and then comma, and then we're going to ask XLOOKUP to return to us Okay, the data from our range of cells. So the idea is that that second X lookup is going to give us a range of numbers horizontally, which will then be sent to our previous X lookup in order to give us or in order to select the right row aspect. So we're going to close at this point and then enter. And you see that we have the very same answer that we got using index and match. So we will now try to double click this. But if you are familiar with Excel, you know that I am missing a step. But just to show those who are not familiar, if I double click this now, you will get NA or not available error. And that is because my formula is filled with a range of cells. And this range of cells actually moved down when I double clicked the formula. So what was initially as um, G2 to M2 translated into G3 to M3. It translated to G4 to M4 and so on. And that's true for the other range of cells as well. So we have to make the range of cells absolute or in some people or some people they would say to lock those cells so we're going to highlight in the formula the range of cells 
and then we're going to press F4 on our keyboard. So that would put dollar signs on the range of cells, which would then make them absolute. So I'm also going to do it for this one. So F4. And finally, also this one. So most of the time, when you have complicated formulas like this and you have to make things absolute, you have to look for range of cells because they are the ones that you have to lock or put dollar signs on to, or to make absolute. So we enter and now we have, uh, we can double click this cell with the dollar sign with the formula, correct formula, and see that we have the very same answer for each of the items that we are searching for. All right. And this is how we solve it in XLOOKUP. And the nice thing about the XLOOKUP solution is that I could actually swap the two XLOOKUPs inside. So I could actually try another version. So let me insert another column here. And this time, I'm going to XLOOKUP. Instead of getting the item first, I'm going to get the branch first. And then comma. And then highlight the range of cells where the locations are. And then comma. And then just like what we did in the previous solution, we need to call in another XLOOKUP. But this time, we're going to select the item name, B3. And then make it uh, search for G3 downwards. There you go. Comma. And then finally, the return array for this second XLOOKUP would be all the data that we have in the matrix. So I'm going to start at H3 and then drag it to the right and then close parentheses because that ends the second X lookup and then close and you will see that we're getting the very same answer as what we have when we took the row aspect first okay versus now that we have the column aspect first and just like the previous solution we have to make these cells or range of cells absolute. So we're going to highlight and highlight the range of cells and make them absolute. Same with this one and this one as well. Enter. And we're going to see if we get the same answer all throughout. And yes, we did. So if you are going to use the XLOOKUP version, you can see that you can use any either the row or the column aspect first okay and then the next x lookup should take the other one this is not the same as the index and match solution because for the index and match solution you are actually forced to start at the row aspect first followed by the column aspect okay it, uh, index and match requires you to do that okay, in that order, not unlike XLOOKUP. And there you have it. We now have our different possible solutions for the matrix, or looking up in a matrix problem. If you liked the video or if it helped you, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And if you have any questions about this, you can use the comment section and I will try my best to answer your queries as soon as I can. But for now, this is it. Thank you for watching the video and keep safe.